So there are loads of to-do list applications out there, loads of task managers, and as you can imagine, with the world full of them, there are loads to choose from. And I won't cover them all in today's video or else I will be here for ages. However, I will cover the best task type in terms of how and what to choose. So I'm gonna break them down into four categories, give you an idea of who they're most suitable for per one, and give you a better idea of which one to choose. So before we begin, this video is not sponsored, but we have our brand new app, Bento. It complements all the apps that we'll mention today, which is exciting, and it helps you prioritize by doing less. So it layers on top of any app that you already use. So check it out in the link in the description. It's on iOS right now with an Android coming soon. So there are many different task type. Um, obviously, um, what we typically find is that we have the sort of main, the original Original, which is the list uh, experience for a task manager. Now the list one is really for those who um, sort of go for a horizontal list. It's very common. We see it in applications like Todoist, TickTick, Things3 and many more. And the reason and the best people to use these are ones that typically if they've come from a notebook that they've been writing tasks down in sort of a bullet point fashion as they go down their list, or that naturally do this with something they've already used in the past. Now, as you can imagine, list views are great because they, they're they really just a scroll away. You're obviously you can filter them down and naturally create new views from them with a lot of the more modern ones. But as you can imagine, scrolling is really the limitation uh, that helps you define all of your tasks. So the next task management type is a project one. Now, some of these are obviously hybrid uh, experiences. We've recently seen a lot of these ones come out and allow you to do a lot more than just the basic list. You can now produce a Kanban, multiple views, and come out there. And they typically consist of apps like ClickUp, Notion, and many more on the market. A lot of them are actually project task, task apps now, which is really interesting. And these are normally much better for people that want to go a step further from their personal to-do list management. Typically, you would use this with a team that is above five, or you're looking to collaborate with other people, or you're someone that works in a more intense role. You have more responsibility, or you have more ownership of, say, a freelancing job or something like that. And you need the, I guess, the room in an application to create multiple views and really stretch the limit of your task manager. Next up is a fairly new category and it's notes. Now, a lot of applications now do tasks inside of their notes experience. Evernote, Noteplan, and Mem are some of the more common ones that we've seen allowing you to add tasks inside of your notes experience. Now, I normally say don't blend too much. Obviously, traditionally, we have a task app, a calendar app, and a notes app. It normally gets us through life with most things, but they're blending together, and notes app have cottoned onto this trend. Now, as you can imagine, uh, being able to see them all in one is helpful because sometimes we do make notes and sometimes they do include tasks in them, whether that's meetings or whether that's even just simple stuff on our notepad in our day. These apps are best for those sorts of people who like to see context to each of their tasks and produce other formal notes in much more depth and be able to produce that alongside their tasks. So if you find yourself at home when you're writing down all of your meeting notes and your tasks in between them with little A's or something like that, these applications might be better for you. Now finally, there's a fourth category and it's the calendar experience. We're seeing this a lot more commonly our calendar blended into your task app. And we've seen this with Amy more recently and Fantastica, which has been on the market for some time. But there are a lot of calendar applications that are introducing this ability and a lot of people do like it. Um, obviously, there are some pros and cons to it, but being able to see your events and activities tend to sometimes determine what you're working on. And we're seeing applications like Magical more recently introducing these abilities in terms of having your notes, calendar, and tasks in one location. So as you can imagine, those are better for those who are organizing lots and lots of meetings, maybe who are organizing, uh, most of their time is spent interacting with other people. And you'll typically find a notes experience, at least in the basic format in those applications. So just to recap, we have a list, a project, uh, we have calendar and notes as our sort of main core 
task type management experiences. Weird world that it is now, but hopefully this helped you made a better decision about which one to go with. Anyway, folks, a big, big thank you. Please do make sure to subscribe to Keep Productive and check out Bento. It complements all the apps that we talked about in this video, layers on top of them. It's beautiful, it's perfect. Oh, I'd say that one, I? <laughs> Of course I would. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, feel free to comment below with what app you use and what category you think you fall into. Anyway, folks, cheerio.